the global weather catastrophes that are taking place as firefighters in Australia are currently racing to tackle devastating bushfires that continue to burn in an unprecedented manner for the first time. Fire dangers in Sydney is rated at a record high. While Australia's most populous city avoided the worst over the weekend, temperatures are set to soar to more than 34 degrees Celsius with strong and dry winds. Home to more than 5 million people, Sydney is ringed by large areas of bushland much of which remains under dry following almost no rain across the country's east coast in recent months. Australia's east coast has declared a state of emergency amid catastrophic fire threats over the weekend. At least three people were killed and over 150 houses were destroyed in Queensland and New South Wales. The authorities have warned locals in areas to evacuate at the earliest. Officials have also stressed that even homes with fireproof will not be able to withstand the upcoming conditions. Currently, there are 18 fires burning in New South Wales, two of which are deemed out of control by authorities. An addition of 400 firefighters on over 50 trucks are heading to the affected areas from the neighbouring states. Let's now look closer home and the total death toll in Cyclone Bulbul will, which hit the Bay of Bengal has now risen to 13. Over 2.73 lakh families have been affected and the severe cyclonic storm hit the state with a maximum sustained speed of 110 to 120 km per hour. The cyclonic storm uprooted hundreds of trees and snapped cables in several districts. About 100,000 people have been evacuated from the low-lying coastal areas of Bangladesh. More than 3,000 shelters in 13 coastal districts have also been opened. No major damage was immediately reported in camps in southeast Bangladesh, where hundreds of thousands of refugees from neighboring Myanmar are living. In India's state of West Bengal, seven people were killed. India's meteorological department said the cyclone was expected to weaken but warned fishermen not to venture into the sea for the next 12 hours. The centre has deployed 10 teams of the National Disaster Response Force in West Bengal and six teams in Orissa. State administrations are being given assistance in evacuation, restoration of roads and in distribution of relief materials. Home Minister Amit Shah has said that additional 18 teams of the NDRF have been kept on standby, closely monitoring the situation. On the other hand, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that he reviewed the cyclone situation in parts of eastern India. He spoke to West Bengal Chief Minister and assured all possible assistance from the centre. The cyclone season in the Bay of Bengal can last from April till December. In 1999, a super cyclone battered the coast of India's Orissa state for 30 hours, killing 10,000 people. 